Illustrious guys. How are you, Ernie? Nice to see you. Sir. Sir. By son. How are you? He's nice poking our macro. Oh, I love that. Too. Yeah. Red bag now and yeah. all. I'd almost forgotten that. sent me a little dish with a picture of Charlie and me at Scottsdale years later in the, in the ceramic dish. She's, she's still doing well. Nice to see you. You must have been at that, that Breakfast that the, yeah. the General Mills gave all of Edge us Edgewater Water Beach. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then some of us decided it'd be fun to order something besides Wheaties. Yeah, and you didn't get a hat. Everybody else got a new hat. Sure, <laughs> 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 you're right. Some guys said I had Kellogg's. <laughs> oh, that went over big. That <laughs> Wheaties guy, he was, he said, well, we're selling 10 cent item. Yeah. You know, when you get yeah. a whole run, you go, it's like Peso Wheaties. Peso Wheaties, yeah. So you can see who's terrier. <laughs> Should be the Attorney General sits here. Secretary of State sits on the President's right. The Secretary of Defense on his left. The uh, Secretary of Treasury on my right. Attorney General on my left. We got them all staked out. It's all done by uh, him. Mr. President, Mr. Vice President, honored guests. On the occasion of the 50th anniversary of the Sporting News in 1936, 
we conducted a contest among our readership to determine the best baseball broadcasters of the day. There was one young fellow in Des Moines, Iowa, who got such a heavy return of ballots early on that the last issue before the polls closed contained a write-up and a picture of this young fellow broadcasting for WHO out in Des Moines. Now, on the occasion of our 100th birthday this year, it's with a good deal of pleasure that the Sporting News presents to Ronald Dutch Reagan, that young sports writer who's now become a national broadcaster and an international broadcaster, an engraved copy of the original issues of the Sporting News. <laughs> present to you and to the Vice President of the Set of Sporting News Couplings. Well, thank you very much. And for that, thank you. <laughs> Pretty good luck. <laughs> uh, change the part in my hair. <laughs> okay, that's great. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. See you in the current problem. <laughs> well, well, I'm, I am greatly honored and very pleased, and it's a genuine pleasure to have you all here today. Take a pause, uh, some of us here, and talk about baseball now instead of some other things. 1986, as you just pointed out, was the hundredth anniversary of the Sporting News, baseball paper of the world. It just seems as if it was yesterday I was reading that first edition. <laughs> We've got winners with us here today of the Taylor Spink and the Ford Frick Awards, sports writers and broadcasters, and my dear friends and colleagues. We're also privileged to be joined by a former college baseball great. The legend has it passed on a promising career with the pros to go and dig for oil in West Texas. <laughs> and uh, as you know, it's been a while since I worked in the booth. And a little reminder, the other side of the table, it wasn't since I called a Rose Bowl parade with Mel Allen and Betty White. <laughs> Every now and this, then I wish I remained in the business. If I had in that business, if I had, I wouldn't be living in public housing now. <laughs> but uh, I say it's also a real pleasure to be able to play with kids my own age. Now that the Russians are getting younger. <laughs> well, before we start the legend, I'm going to make it earn your your keep. My advisors are divided on who's going to win the World Series. <laughs> Uh, apparently, some have been paying too much attention to affairs of state. Pat Buchanan has said it's the Orioles. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll just call on all of you for your counsel now that I'm, I'm not a betting man, but, you know, just in case the question comes up. <laughs> and you're feeling. Anyone like to sound off on who it's going to be? Uh, what do you no, think about the no. DH, Mr. Pace? The what? The DH, the designated hitting. Oh, golly, you know, I haven't, I haven't thought about it much. I have a feeling that I'm a little like that as I am about football with a, a defense and an offense. Right? When I played, you played both ways. And, uh, I think football was a better game. Maybe baseball is a better game, too. Huh. It's, a, it's getting so broken down into departments in sports anymore. That, uh, I don't know how it would feel to be a football player coming running on and off the field that way. Eureka College, in order to get a letter, sweater, you, you had to, they, they kept a time thing, and there was a minimum time that you had to make of actual play. And I've always been very proud that in my senior year,